Greetings all. Today on Merry Merry Meeple Solo Play, I, the Groom, and we'll be playing the solo version of Books of Time coming to us from Board and Dice Games. I have it almost completely set up. I just have to do the last little bit of setup with scribbles. Um, let me go through really quick how the game plays. On my turn, I'm going to do two things in either order, but I have to complete one before I do the other. I am going to do an action as depicted in this chronicle. There will be an action on the left, on the right. I choose which one I want to do. I will also then do an action from this list here. I can activate pages, which is I will look at one of my books. I will activate both sides of the page and then flip it, flip it to the next page. I can write pages, which is this display over here. I'm going to spend the resources above them, and I'm going to write them in the book. I'm going to open it up, put it in there, close the book, and I get the benefit that's listed on the bottom. I can close a book, which if I'm further in the book, say I'm here, I choose to close the book. All the pages that I flip to the left, I will get the instant benefits at the bottom, and then that goes to the first page. That is closing a book. If at any point I am on the back page and I activate and I would close, close the back page, I then also do the close the book action for free, basically. I can draw, which is I take exactly two pages from this display out here. I can take from the top of the deck or the display and it refills immediately. I can advance. I can pay you to advance on the, what are they called? The civilization board over here in the red, the green, or the yellow. The cost to go up on the levels is listed over here. Every time I go up, I can either take the reward that's shown there, or I can advance these objectives. I have them down here underneath the books that they pertain to. If I choose to advance an objective, I discard the tile, and then depending on which one it is, I get a benefit that's listed on the back. These are end-of-game points that you need to try and fulfill. You can never go backwards. However, you will score for whatever one is on top. So even if I have all five symbols in a row here, I will not be able to score the bottom one. I'm only going to score the top one. So I can advance. The writing the pages and advancing, you can do as many times as you can afford. This top row here, though, you cannot forego the benefit. That is end of game points. You'll get two points per page in that specific colored book at the end of the game. If you have to go above it, you'll either get a point, a pen, or a piece of paper. Or you can turn pages in up to three of your books. You can flip the page and then get the instant benefit at the bottom. All right. Um, so you're doing all this to try and get the actions, to push yourself up this board, and to fulfill these objectives down here. In a solo, you're playing against scribbles. What you need to do is you need to choose three objectives over here. Three goals, I think they might call them, over here to do. One in each color and each tier. I am playing on easy, so I need to fulfill at least one of these. And I need to score 100 points. I will lose 15 points for each one of these. That does not get completed. Um, I think that's about it. Um... The other thing with Scribbles is he's going, when I flip the Chronicle page, he will discard the cards that are listed here. All right. Uh, give me a minute, and we will get started. All right, so we will do what Scribbles does. He's going to discard this card and that card, and we refill. All right, what shall my first action be? So I can discard a piece of paper to get two points, and then I could activate... My green book, which would give me a lot of resources, and use that two points just to pay for that. I think we will. We're going to discard a piece of paper to move two points for my chronicle, and I'm going to activate my green book, which is spend two points to get two pens and two paper, and on the other side, a pen, a paper and a point. And then we flip the page. Now, scribble. oh, I forgot Scribbles does actually not go to the discard. He goes up here because certain ones would pertain to that. I just want to make sure I do that proper. All right, so he will discard 
that card. So now I can discard a page to go up on the red track, or I can take a page from the display. Well, considering my red goal up here is to get to the four level on each track, which means I need to get up here. And once I move up red, I can push up. I think we're going to do that. Um, hmm. What looks good out here? I do want to write some pages, but none of them give me the ability to grab a page when I do it. Do any of these let me grab a page? No, but this one lets me write a green page for free. So I already have a gear, and that wants me to have two cards with one symbol and two with another written down. So I know I want to keep this one. I think we're going to activate the red book. So we're going to get two pieces of paper. And then going to discard a piece of paper. And this is write a green or yellow page for free. We're going to write this green one in here. You get the immediate benefit at the bottom, which gives me a pen. And then what that also is going to, or if you'll notice, I don't slide these down. It, only way it gets pushed down is when you get a page. It pushes it. All right, so I did that as there. This flips. For my chronicle action, I think I am going to discard. That pushes me up on the yellow. We are going to discard this green card. This is discard a page from here to go up on the red. So I'm going to push myself up on the red. And I'm going to then push myself up on the green, which is going to allow me to take two pages from up here. I'm going to take the donkey. It gets refilled. And these are going to push down, and I'm going to grab... Uh, what do I need here? At least four pages in every book. I'm going to grab this heart. All right. Next page. He discards the top of the deck. And this one. Refill. All right, get a piece of paper or discard a file folder to go up on any track and get a point. Well, that's a predicament because I don't have a file folder, but I could get one if I go up on this track. I have plenty of resources. I can go up a couple. Do I think I'm going to advance on one of these? All right, well, let's go ahead and do a pen and a piece of paper to advance this, which gives me a file folder. And the file folders are while it can be used as a pen or a paper. I think we're gonna go up another one. Let's do a, two pens and a paper. And we're going to push up the yellow to there. I'm gonna use that to push this one up. And now I can push up any other track this is four points for whichever one you have the most of, so I'm actually going to go there and get that. I have two gears in here already, so that's going to give me eight points. And we're good. So I think that's all I'm going to do. So that was my advance. So that was my action. I'm now going to discard my file folder here to do this action, which will give me another point and allow me to go up on one of these. Um, hmm. I think I'm really going to focus in on green here. So I'm going to push the green up. And that way I'm on level four and I can forego that. Yeah, we're going to push the green up. Instead of getting the points there, we're going to discard this, which gives me a pen, a paper, or I can refresh as many of these as I want and take a sheet. I am going to grab one of these maps. We're going to grab this map here. Done. Because to get this, I need four different ones. I already have the gear. Now I have the map and the heart. And turn the page. Get rid of the donkey. Another donkey comes up. And there's my fourth different one. 
Um, that lets me discard a piece of paper to write one for free or discard two red to add a page and get a point. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing that one to write a page. Don't have a sailboat out. Um... I did flip that, right? Yeah. That one's tempting to do also. But I don't have two I want to get rid of yet. All right, well, let's do this one first. Discard the piece of paper. I can write any page. Let's go ahead and get the donkey written in here. Which will give me my piece of paper back. And then I do want that. I'm worried that he might take it. Um, you always could discard a file folder to stop him from taking something, but I don't have a file folder. So should I just draw, get that, and see what comes up? Sure. Let's draw the green. Ooh, and a sailboat came up. Let's push these down. Sailboat. He would have gotten rid of it. So I can get spend two points to go up on any track or discard a yellow page to get a pen and two points. I want to get the boat after the donkey because these need to be in order. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be activating my yellow book here. Yep, activate this, which is going to give me three pens. One, two, three. And a file folder. This flips. I'm going to spend the two points to go up on a track. I have nothing written in red yet, so that wouldn't be helpful. I could push myself up on green. And then that could push me up on yellow, which would just give me three points. Let's... Let's do that. Let's push myself up on green so I can get five points or push up on yellow. It would be nice to push up on yellow. It's only going to give me three points, though. To just take the five. I have this person who can help me go up on yellow eventually. Let's just take the five points. 23. All right, I need to start writing some pages. Discard this one. Piece of paper to go up on yellow. I will get to that here in a moment. Or two points to write any page and get a piece of paper. I think we're going to activate our red book. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of a pen and a piece of paper to write a yellow or green page. So I'm going to write the yellow, which gives me a pen back. And then this one, I am going to discard the red, and I'm going to discard... Go ahead and discard the map, because I pretty much have green locked down. Discard those two, gives me a piece of paper. So that was basically free. And I can go up on any track. We are going to push myself up on the yellow track, which is going to give me three points for each different symbol. I have two different symbols. So six brings me around to 29. There's that, and then we are going to, it's originally going to go up on the yellow. It might be better just to write a page in, get those knocked in. That is what we're going to do. We are going to spend the two points, write any page in. We're going to write the green one in. So we're going to spend a point to get two pens. 
and I get a piece of paper. There we go. All right, so he's going to discard a boat if it's there. No, he's going to discard a map if it's there. He's going to discard a planet. Not there. Refill. So after the boat, I need a cart. There is no cart, so I don't care about yellow. That is discard a page. That for five points, or just get a pen. Mm, don't like any of that. I need to start pushing. I need to get red pages. I just realized I discarded them all. So write at least four pages into every book. One, two, three. I almost have green. One more and I'm good. Let's see, what can we do? That would get me a bunch of stuff. This, I can write my last page and I can get a file folder. Well, no, because I'd have that. Um, could just advance. I never advanced that. There we go. Or do I draw? You know Let's draw some cards. We're going to get the donkey. And the medical red, because we need some red. And then for up there, I am just going to take the pen. All right, discards the donkey, discards the heart, nope, discards the medical, nope, that comes out. Two points to go up anywhere or discard a red and yellow, not happening. So I don't care about the donkey. I grab that one to do this. So we are going to activate yellow. Paper, gone. Ooh, do I write the red now? Now let's write the green. There's the green, gives me a pen, and then this is get rid of a, discard one of those to get a file folder. Flip. Now what do I want to do up here? Don't have those to discard, so we're going to spend two points to go up on any track. This red's still not a good plan. Could do yellow. That would give me eight. Yeah, let's do yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the donkey goes bye bye. Lots of red. I think I'm going to draw the reds so I can get those put in. Yep, we're going to draw red and red. All right, so now this will be discard a pen to get a file folder. Or if I have two red on my display, which I do, I can add a page and get a point. I will do that. That pushes these down here. And I can add a page. I think, do I still need a speech bubble? I got a gear. I got a heart. Nope, I have a speech bubble. And other gear, but I do need one for that. So they're both the same. So we'll grab that speech bubble. I'm still looking for a card out there. And a point. All right. Donkey, nope. Speech bubble. Gone. Amoeba. Gone. Spend two points for a file folder. Discard one for four points. Alright, technically need to try and get that other book. Which works because I can grab it from here because I'm going to do a bunch of writing. Because I have a bunch of resources. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And two sheets. And five. And they're going to give me a pen and a sheet back. 
I'm going to write all three of these, and then for the one I take, I'm going to put that. Do I have a specific order I want to put these in? Um, see if I can eventually get this one going. Ow. There we go. That one. Sure. All right. So that was my action to write. What am I going to do up here? I have enough resources. I already got those, so discard four points. I don't know if I've ever scored 100 in here in the multiplayer. So we need to get those points going. Actually, I need to get the red up. Uh, all right. So what do we do now? Do I write again? I technically can write both of those. Or do I draw? Oh, I didn't discard his cards. Any camels? Nope. There is a gear. No planets. Oh, wait, I have the two and two, don't I now? Or do I got to write that speech? So that would give me that one. Yeah, it's going to be a good plan. Probably not. Two, three, four, five, and six. To write all these. So that's going to give me a piece of paper. And that goes in there. Red goes in here and lets me grab one from out here. And none of these are overly great because I need carts for there. What don't I have in here? I think I need a map. Yep, I need a map. Give me that map like so. So many boats, no carts. For up there, I obviously don't have that. We're going to spend the two points to get that file folder. All right, so discard a green and a yellow to advance one of these and get two points. Or spend two points to write a page and a pen. Well, I want to advance this green, but I won't be able to do it next time I push green up, so we're going to do that. We're going to draw two cards. I'm going to go boat. Wait, I did it again. I forgot to discard stuff. No cart, no map, no book. I'm going to grab that one and grab the speech bubble. And then we're going to discard both of those to advance one of these and get two points. We're advancing my green. So I can either get a file folder or add one from the discard pile. I don't think we've discarded any carts. We have not. And I do need another book. So we're actually going to grab the book. All right, so now I need four different and an extra gear. I know I have two gears in here. Once I get that put in, I can for sure have that one. I'm struggling here. I wrote three in here. Once I get that last book, so I'll have four in here, four in here. At some point, I need to, I think, just get the yellow for that. I have no pens to push myself up there, but I'm pretty sure I'm about to get one. Mm. Let's activate green over here. Spend two points. Pen. Two paper, two pens, get me that point back, and then up here I'm going to spend, uh, I keep forgetting to discard his card, I'm going to spend the pen to move up on green, so I will get two points per page in my green book. And this flips.
All right, his is this car. I remember this time. I finally got a cart. So I can spend two points to go up on a track. I'm going to want to go up on red now. Um, I'm going to need two pens to do that. So here's where the decisions come in in this game. I mean, these can be pens. So if I come here, write the red page, which lets me take one. I discard one to get that. Yeah. Spend two pens to put the right this. That lets me take a card. And I'm going to take. Sure, I'll take that map. That's right, I was doing this one. Not this one. I, I got confused there. Sorry. Now I discard the map to get three pens or two pieces of paper. I'm going to go three pens. Up here, I'm going to spend two pens to go up on the green track or the red track. That gives me three points for each different symbol. That's one symbol, two. Oh, I already had two books. I didn't need to do that last book. So I have two different symbols, so that is six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. So actually, I could have advanced that instead. We are. We are actually going to advance this because it's have three. I have three books in there now. So that could be a pen, a paper, or I can take a card. We're going to take the cart, like so. All right, we gotta get that cart in there. That's the next step. Did that. Did my action, which was this. So that flips. All right, so we're three turns before the end of the game. I gotta get right up two levels. And I got my doubles in here, so this can flip over. I don't have four pages in there. He discards that. So that would be five pieces of paper, which I have, and a pen. So I could always just advance that up there. I know I have that option. Why get the green put in there, though? That's going to be 18 points. I gotta get that written in there. Do I have anything that helps me write pages? No, 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 no. All right, well, let's hope I can get the stuff for that. Well, that would let me be able to put the one in there. You know, we're going to draw. Draw a green. And just draw a red. Now we're going to do this one. We're going to discard that green to write this green in this book, which gives me a pen. Discard discards. So that is take a page or discard a red for a paper and a point. Cool. Just discard that red. Paper, point. So when I say five paper, one, two, three, four, five, and a pen. So that moves me up there. I am going to get four points for whatever I have the most of. I have the most books of three of them, so that's 12 points. Puts me at 49. 
Then up here, I have one, three books. That can give me my fourth symbol. And if I can somehow do this to move that, Yeah, we're going to take the book, which will help me if I can somehow do this, and then I have my four books. So I already did that. I discarded my red. I advanced up there. So I'm at level four and everything, so that one has succeeded. So this is the final turn. He wipes all of this. And as is always the case, I have run out of turns. So if I do that, that's seven. If I write that in, that will be 11 points. Is there a way to do both? That doesn't help me write anything, so I don't care about up there. That pushes me up on the green. That doesn't do me any good. Nothing here pushes me up on yellow. Because that would push me up on the red, and I could do it that way. That pushes me up on red, but then I can't write that in. And that red, as I said, is only 7 points. Yellow is 11. I'd be one page short from being able to do my um, 4 pages, so that will be minus 15. So I think we're just going to... Write that page in. Like so. Write that. Gives me a piece of paper. And I'm going to get a piece of paper for that. This closes. End of game. Alright, so now we score our face-up objectives. And then if we got to the top there. And then minusing the 15 points there. So do I have four different ones and two gears? There's one gear, so that's one, two, three. I have all four different ones, and I have a gear, so that it's 18 points. One, 17. Get my little 50 guy out here. I have cart or donkey boat cart, that's 11. And I have that, so that's another 15. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Two points per page in the green book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is 16, but minus 15 gives me one point. Um, supplies would give you a point for every five. I don't have five. So I lost by six points. It's, it's how it always comes down to our multiplayer one, two. It's like just one more action. Because if I could have pushed that up, I could have got rid of that, which would have been seven, which means I would have had one by a point. But alas, one turn shy. But that was, again, the solo version of Books of Time. I was the groom showing you the solo version of Books of Time with the cool little components. Hope you enjoyed.